Uh, the goal this year, one, is to win 30 games overall. We feel that if we win 30 games, that'll put us in a great position to get a bid to the NCAA tournament. Uh, another goal would be to be in the top four of the uh, ODAC. That'll give us a home field for the first round, the best two out, new best two out of three. Uh, those are the two main goals. And we expect to have a good team with the number of uh, returning players that we have. It's going to take hard work and a lot of heart. Right now, um, we feel like we have a lot of talented players. We return a lot of uh, starters from last year's team. So offensively, we feel we can be good. We just have to show the execution and heart. On the mound, we will have to have a couple freshmen step up in starting roles in our number three and number four starting pitcher spots. Um, the team's goals is to uh, win 30 games and uh, get a regional berth. And what do we got to do to would, do that? Well, I would definitely say another goal would be to win the ODAC championship. True. That would be a huge accomplish, accomplishment for us. But to achieve that, we just got to keep grinding every day, getting better in practice, uh, not making excuses, hold each other accountable. I think if we do that, I think we'll do it. Thanks, man. Pretty much what Jimmy said, I think it takes that we come out every day and focus on getting better and supporting one another and have like the next man up mentality because uh, like Coach said, we're a deep team this year and it's a long season and injuries will happen. So we need to be ready for anything. anything. <laughs>Um, I think our depth overall is one of our strengths. Uh, we really have two deep at every position that we feel very confident could start for us. On the mound, our first two pitchers, uh, Chase Mayberry and Jimmy Butler, return, and we feel very confident in their abilities. Uh, also, Jonathan Treisler and Jason Maitland out of the bullpen were both all conference last year, so we think the back end of our pitching staff is really good. I think we got a lot, a lot of talent. Like a good thing is, it looks like we got we're at least two people deep at every position. And then it looks like, as far as the freshmen that came in, especially pitching wise, like it looks like we're pretty deep in the bullpen. So if we could show up every day, ready, every day ready to play, I think it'll be good. I think one of our major strengths is having. Um, our midweek starters, I, th I feel really confident in, in our freshmen that are coming up uh, and stepping up this year. I feel like they're going to have some, some big years midweek starting and in the bullpen. So I feel like those, like Brian said, are going to be really, really valuable to our team, those guys. Uh, so like the previous seasons we've played in, I mean, it's a long season and we've had guys kind of fall out towards the end of the year. So I think one of the things that we need to improve on is uh, staying mentally tough, staying mentally prepared for each game, and being prepared and staying focused. Yeah, I think I said focused more than once. But what I was saying, like, yeah, uh, Coach said yesterday we need to approach baseball and have like a 12 year old mentality. I think uh, towards the end of the year, it, it's it's tough being out there every day and. It's a long season, so if we attack it with energy and we attack it with mental focus, uh, there's the sky's the limit. Um, on top of the, the guys I just mentioned, uh, we're really looking for big years out of uh, Brian Goodwin, senior captain. Uh, he should start the season at second base, but he also has and can play outfield for us. Um, Tyler Blevins, another uh, captain, he is a junior at first base. Uh, we're looking for big things there. And um, Devin Doherty, uh, senior catcher, had a tremendous breakout year last year as a junior, so we expect uh, big things out of him. I expect Nick Graziano, our freshman midweek guy, and, and I expect Harrison Moncure, those, those two freshmen, I expect them to do some pretty big things for us. Um, and why I, I see them as putting in the work at practice, and um, they're here every day, and I really, I really truly believe that they want it just as bad as the three of us want it. So um, they're competitive, very competitive, and I think that those guys can really step up this year. I'm looking forward to seeing what they can do for us.
Uh, one of the guys that's worked with me a little bit is Ryan Clausen. Uh, he is from uh, Cosby High School. And I know a little bit about Cosby. They're a pretty good baseball school. And uh, he's he he's a walk-on, but he's he's attacking it every day, and he's acting like he's one of us. And he's going to be a stud for us this year, and I expect him. I have high hopes for him, and I, I think he's going to do good things. Um, I'd probably say for me it might be a uh, Dooms, Josh Doomstra. He's a – He's an athlete. He came into last year. He had a little bit of a tough situation. We were pretty much deep at every position, but he hits, and if he gets the opportunity this year, he can definitely find a spot on the field. So, got one more. I got these two guys. I expect two, two big things from these two guys as well as myself. So we're going. We're gonna have a good one this year. Uh, right now, we, we need to definitely improve on our team's defense. Um, that's going to be one of our big focal points here in the preseason. And we need to improve our, our offensive production. Uh, we did a nice job last year with some young players that they have to step it up offensively and defensively. Um, I think a big thing is just consistency. I mean, we're good. Like, we're, we have, like, a good ball players on the team. I think the biggest thing will be especially down the stretch is how consistent we will be. Like, I think everyone has shown, like in the fall we saw where like this, everyone's good at the, the position they play. The real thing is going to be how long can you do it when the, you know, you get the long season, you get school, long practices, tired. Can you come in day in and day out and perform? And if that improves as we go, I think, again, we'll do big things. I think one of the things that we can improve on is when adversity hits, what are we going or how are we going to react? Um, a few times last year, we got in a hole really quick, and I feel like some of our guys panicked and sort of maybe not put their head down, but kind of like maybe did put their head down. Uh, but one of the things is adversity is going to come, and when it does come, we just need to buckle up and grind, and I think we can pull it out. <laughs> I think along the lines of what Blevin said, when adversity does come, um, none of us are perfect, so we're all going to make mistakes. Um, and I, I think one of the big things that I'd like to see us improve throughout the year is not letting necess necessarily the coach get on us, because he's going to get on us in general. But I'd like to see each, each and every one of us, when we do mess up, hold each other accountable, not yell or anything like that, but just know like, okay, this happened. Let's let's fix it the next time. Let's not let it happen again. And if we do that, if we can get that attitude ingrained in us, then I think we'll be really good. Uh, I'm just looking forward to a great season. Um, you know, this is a good group of guys to be around and, and we're looking forward to really competing and getting into that top four. Uh, in the ODAC to have a home game, uh, home games in the first round. Fun, it should be a fun year. We got, <laughs> we got a good group of guys. Like, I love them. They're like my brothers. Some of them been playing with for the past. What? Uh, maybe we got like five seniors. That's five, six seniors. Been playing for the past four years. It's been great. Um, got a good group of freshmen that came in this year. It should be fun, and we should win a lot of ball games. So. That's what I'm looking forward to. Yeah, I agree with Brian. It's going to be a fun year. And I mean, it's always a grind. And it's always fun to grind with people that you know and you respect. And we all focus. We all have one common goal, and that's to win. And when that comes together, it's just a lot of fun. And it's a brotherhood. Yeah, I like what Blevin said. We all respect each other. And I think, I think you gain more respect for each other on some of the trips that we'll be able to take, um, whether that's road games, stuff like that. Road games are always fun, bus rides. Uh, those those memories you, you'll never forget. Um, so I'm definitely looking – we, we go to Myrtle Beach for spring break, our spring break games, and um, that'll be a, an extremely fun trip, bonding, everything. It'll be, it'll be awesome. So that's one of the things I'm looking forward to.